So the main challenge that I hear about over and over right now is to attract good talent, good staff to your salon business. It seems like, you know, this has always been a challenge, but after post, you know, COVID now, it seems like the situation is much more difficult. And so in, in this video, we wanted to share some of our tips for how you can go about this and how you can attract good talent to your salon. So if this is the first time we meet, my name is John Halberg. My name is Mi Erlansson. And this is where we share the best ideas and strategies to help you grow your salon business. So if that is something that you're interested in, make sure you subscribe to this channel to not miss out every time we post new content here. Okay, so today I will be sharing my best tips on what uh, I do at the salon to attract the kind of staff that we want. Uh, we always think about what we send out on social media, not just to our customers, but also to other hairdressers, what kind of vibe we have with this, uh, with each other, the team. Uh, because today I think young people, they tend to seek work where they feel that uh, they... Uh, it reflects their identity yeah, kind of, right? Yeah, yeah exactly. Mm. So what type of person am I? Where do I work? Mm. It's important. So I think it's good to think about that on your social media, not just to have pictures on hair, but also have uh, clips and pictures on you that work there. Yeah, and I think like we often talk about here on the channel the importance of your brand, the importance of the vibe that you're sending out in the context of attracting clients, but obviously it's the same when it comes yeah. to attracting staff, right? Yeah. And making sure that you also have that part of like how you communicate your vibe and, and what you're about. I think yeah. it's really important. Yeah. And, and also like to build on that, like in terms of like the, the channels and the tactics to use to reach um, potential new staff members. Um, I would also say like prioritize the channels that those people have decided to follow you on. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Because in that way, like obviously they do that because they like the work you're doing and they like your vibe. And that's why they've chosen to, for example, follow you on Instagram or in your Facebook or yeah. subscribe to your email yeah. list or whatever it might be. Um, so to start activating you know, like your your masses on those channels yeah. um, would make a lot of sense because then yeah. you know you have people who actually already like what you're doing and you know would like yeah. to follow you there. Yeah, and are in on the same vibe as you. I think. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, like that's, that's. It's not only attracting people who apply to you. It's also what type of people do you want to attract? Yeah. So that's also a big thing. When you send out the vibe, that's kind of people you will get back again, as we said. Yeah, so let's think about that, because obviously there's more channels you can use. You can do like job postings, um, you know, reach out to cosmetology schools and, and all of that, which is, you know, could be good ways to go as well, but to start first with making sure that you're, you know, using those channels where they have already chosen to, to follow yeah. you. And then also you will also get, because we get a lot of people that are uh, searching or sending us an application like spontaneously. Mm. I don't know if you're looking for someone, but I would be interesting, so interested in it. So I also also uh, always save them because maybe we're not looking right now, but in a few months ahead, somebody is uh, pregnant, or going to maternity leave, or uh, moving to another town, or something's happened. So then you also have a little bank of people that you can contact and also also maybe they're not looking for a job but they have oh but my friend is mm. and if she's interested and in follow your blog i think or social media i think maybe she her friend is also in like the same type of person that she is because, yeah yeah, yeah. And, and like to enable that also like a concrete thing that i strongly recommend you do is to also add a career page to your website yeah. So like on your website, you actually have a page that's dedicated to this, where you include words like, uh, you know, work as a stylist in this town. And, you know, yeah. you're including those words on the site, uh, because that also means like when people are looking for jobs in your area and looking for the type of jobs that you have available, uh, you know, it's much more likely that they will find you. Uh, yeah. And then you kind of have a process there that also sells them a bit on why they should work with yeah. you and so on uh, on that page. And they can submit your application directly there as well. Uh, would be a good way to yeah. kind of get those spontaneous applications, I would say, as yeah. well. Yeah, uh, absolutely. More um, so, you know, I know this is a big challenge uh, and it's particularly a big challenge right now. Like, these are some of the things to help you there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, 
I don't know if you have something else that you want to add to that, but you know, generally, like it's it's very similar to how yeah. you would market to new clients, right? Yeah. It's just it's a different target group, which is which is stylists. But yeah. all of the things that we talk about here on the channel, with you know, building your vibe, the right campaign activities, uh, which you certainly can run as well. Right? You can do a dedicated Facebook ad, for example, to recruit people. You can you know do job postings. But I said earlier, like make sure you first go after those channels where yeah. they have started to follow you. Yeah, and don't be afraid to be personal there. Like show when you're off a training or show some uh, fun stuff that you do on, on the salon that has not to do with hair. When you're on dinner, when you are uh, maybe have a movie night as a colleague, show that on your... not don't have to be like long posts, but like some small posts here and there where it creates like a, oh, they have a very good team vibe there. Yeah. Yeah, and the customer, both the clients, the customers, or and new staff will like that. So yeah, yeah, absolutely. And you know, obviously, with that as well, another good channel is, of course, your existing team, right? So yeah, like no brainer, maybe, but like you know, making sure that people in working for you are aware that you're looking to hire, so that yeah. they reach out within yeah. their community and generally activate your network, right? So yeah. the more connected you are in the local area. Uh, the better, right? And activate that uh, that network, um, yeah. so that they also help you, you yeah. know, find people that could be a good match for you. All right, so yeah. there, you know that was some of the tips uh, to to help you along the way there. Um, thanks for watching all the way through. If you want more of these type of things, business tips, marketing ideas, strategies, hit that subscribe button, and we look forward to seeing you inside of an upcoming video.